The Metro Forest Project in Bangkok is a learning center for its residents to be educated and aware of conservation and sustainability issues here in Thailand. It was developed by PTT as a part of their 1 million rye forest reforestation planting project and to commemorate Princess Shakri Siren Thon's birthday on April the 2nd, 2014. Um, Bangkok developed in a way that it's mostly building, right? We don't really have much green space here anymore. We lost um, the lowland of green forest, which is the native forest of Bangkok already. So what they want to do is that bring it back to Bangkok and become like the, uh, the um, resource for oxygen for the Bangkok people too. Located six kilometers from the Suwanapum Airport in the suburban district of Prawet, the ecological forest aims to cultivate environmental awareness, act as an outdoor exhibition area, and reverse the impact of suburban sprawl. Well, there is a more like a reforestation all across Thailand. It's the where it's very different in different community all across Thailand. So, um, like. There's a one in Chiang Mai or it's a one in Northern Isan. Um, that's what the project was quite long ago. It's like almost 20 years already. But so this project was too like because they haven't done any for reforestation to Bangkok. So that's why they came up with this project. Yeah. So he did a lot of reforestation project in uh, in Japan. And he was project. His project was famous for is that it happened very fast. So usually when you do a forest reforestation, it usually took like 30 to 50 years. But with his project, it's like only 10 years. It's already like um, the trees are pretty enriched. So what we do is that uh, putting it has to be in the native plants of the area, so obviously, and then you put. Uh, the different four, three to four plants together very close to each other so they compete for the light so that's why they make them grow faster but then you have to consider for like the difference of the species unless it's gonna compete each other for the same nutrients and die um, also the different levels because like it's not like the public park right um, the forest is how you have to be the the, um, the cover ground uh, level for plants and then the big until the middle level into the highest level each other and then the speed of the growth also yeah the metro forest project also houses an exhibition hall that consists of a learning center and mini theater about plant conservation in thailand the building is made of compressed soil and uses as much natural lighting and resources as possible this is the only place where you can walk on the skywalk and um, looking at the plants from the upper levels. Uh, it's easier to actually study more about the, the trees themselves when you be able to look it from the, the leaves. So it's more easier to look up from here to see its flowers, its seeds and the characteristic of the leaves. Our observation tower is about uh, 23 meters so from over there if you go up there you may be able to see it all to um, Subhanapum airport and you can see all to the also of the the center the Bangkok center areas and you can see compare clearly the difference between the place we are here in Metro for us and how green it is and the place in the center of Bangkok What is situation right now is we can't provide food in the inside of Bangkok. So if something happen and like transportation system happen, we can literally bring food in here. One another theory that we use in reforestation here is by the King Raman Nai that we ha he have a uh, the theory to for the community for us that we have the plants that eatable, plant usable, and it's using it as a food well. And also, like that's all of that will give benefit to conservation of the water and uh, soil. So that is one part of the theory, apart from uh, Dr. Miyawagi theory in reforestation here. So we hope that it can be a showcase or a, a study place for that. Well, we we uh, we all very welcome for visitor. Um, we always appreciate if people will be more realized about the importance of trees. I know it's pretty difficult to feel sympathy for the trees because they totally live in a totally time scale from us. They don't really react right away. But if you actually look at them, they actually very they give a lot of us a lot of things. 
and we may take them for granted for too long. Yeah.